<laughs> All right. <laughs> Now let's get the let, business. Let, let, hurt, ah! let, let hurt him. Let hurt him. Well, yeah, that. that Anybody boy, hungry out there, guys? I pick the corn corn when, when I was a kid, if you had a good pair of shoes, you kept your shoes clean because that's the first oh, thing yeah. I listen. No matter what nobody tells you, they don't look at your hind end. They don't look at nothing. Well, that's almost like eating a biscuit. Well, help me, boys. I, this is there. It's ever been good. I can't. It's all. I can't make. I can't decide. I promise you, I can't. And I can assure you out there watching, I've eaten bad cornbread. Oh, yeah. And this ain't it. guys we're down here at the famous farmhouse diner with the live appalachian connection podcast it's podcaster big john however to my left co-host don wolf montgomery to my right big tony out of the farmhouse diner and we're trying to bring you a good show we got all kinds of eggs we got pickled wieners we got <laughs> <laughs> it's a wiener <laughs> we got cornbread don is there anything you want to start off with today oh well i just uh uh, glad y'all tuned in. Uh, shout out to the Farmhouse Diner making this all happen. Uh, just love everybody. And uh, want your comments on here and just anything you want to ask us about. We're just kind of like the Seinfeld show. We're just making a show about nothing. <laughs> and uh, always give a shout out to my main man, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen to that. Here we go. We got a lot going on tonight. We got to uh, name a few of our sponsors. We got Tracked Outdoors with Jay Howard. You can look at him up on YouTube. Uh, Creekside Stitch and Feed. You can get your pig feed, your dog feed, your chicken feed. You can get yourself stitched up if you get cut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Avian's a vet tech. So worm it's, medicine. Uh, worm medicine. Worm your dog. <laughs> worm your dog. Worm, worm yourself. Worm your chickens. Worm yourself. <laughs> worm your you fish. Know. <laughs> or get rook cards if you need them. She's got a lot going She's on. She's even got rook cards. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh, they got a little bit of everything, son. Good smell <laughs> candles. Uh, of course, always, our man, Big John, with techholler.com. He's uh, awesome. He produces all this. He does all our editing. He can do about anything. Uh, if you have a business and you need a logo, he can build you a logo for your business. Visit techholler.com. He'll fix your computer. Oh yeah, and we got a big uh, giveaway tonight. Well, not a big giveaway. Well, we, we got, got some giveaways tonight. Going on. We got a couple giveaways. giveaways. Yeah. We're gonna try to eat some pickled <laughs> eggs and pickled baloney. We got a ton of cornbread sitting over here. And I swear to God, it all looks the best. We got so uh, the, the bread challenge. Thirty yes. seconds. Thirty that seconds. Piece of light bread. Piece of light. Well, this is a bigger piece of light bread. Than I may have to dog. cut the time down on these two guys, though. <laughs> but the average human being, <laughs> the average. it's really hard to eat a piece of light bread in thirty seconds. I promise and you. Way, I want to thank Granny Made Cheesecake. That's my aunt too that does. Made cheesecake. God knows they're, the, they're as good as you've ever you've, you've ever eat. I mean, they're the real deal. She can do it. Uh, also, if you can talk her into it, which I can, because she loves me, but uh, get her to make you some gingerbread, Lord. Oh I'm yeah, make you best gingerbread. Make I've you ever love ever your mother-in-law. That stuff. Make you slap somebody. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, slap somebody. But she does a really good job. We got a couple giveaways tonight. We're going to be doing. Uh, a portable DVD player loaded with NES games. NES games. And we're also going to do a. Uh, we got some friends over at Lakefront Church of God that do a wonderful job. They got a food pantry. They feed the entire community. Thirty-five dollar value. Thirty-five for gift dollar card. value. Thirty-five dollars. Listen, yeah. these folks work tirelessly over there. They, they they give away a ton of food. They're good people. So we're going to give away. They're having a sweetheart dinner, and we're going to give away a dinner for two. And we're going to do things a little old school tonight with our giveaway. How many of you out there yep. remember the days when you called into the local radio station? Yeah to do a giveaway so when we get ready to do a giveaway which we'll announce we're going to do a call in and pick 
Hey, like, buddy, Junior, Cordy. For the Come Valentine's doing, dinner, friend? we'll have number 14. For the NES system, it'll be another number. So we're, we're yeah. going to post the number screaming across the stream. When we get ready, we'll tell you guys to start calling. And we're going to do a big giveaway tonight. And we're going to keep on doing that. Like I said, we got wonderful sponsors. Got a lot going on tonight. Uh, I'm going to attempt to eat six pickled eggs. <laughs> That's going to be funny. And John is going to try his hand oh. at a pickled bologna wiener. And I don't, uh, know, uh, uh, I don't uh, know that I can eat six pickled eggs. I might gag a little bit. Looks like we've got one, two, we got, three, four, five pounds of cornbread. Oh, we're going to do a taste test on this too. cornbread. Down here, the, down here at the farmhouse, down a live yeah, audience. We got some folks in here eating. Well, thank yeah. you for stopping by and seeing us. We've had a blessed couple weeks down here, and and we we couldn't do this without you all. Of course, it's tireless tireless work. Me and Amanda are killed most of the time, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We enjoy it. Great food here. I mean, that's what it's all about. Can't beat it. Got pizza challenges. We have. Oh, let's talk about the pizza yeah, challenge for a to, second. The first one. Can we talk about it for a second? We 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 had a. I'm getting texts again to stop touching my nose. So <laughs> uh, we had a pizza challenge the other day and uh, makeup people's killing us. Yeah, makeup makeup people. <laughs> But anyway, so we had a couple fellows from down Logan, <clears throat> and I touched my nose. I guess it's a nervous thing. I'm all the time. I have to do something. So well, I'm white man. We're we'll going to get you one of those fidget spinners. Oh, well, I can tap my feet. I guess if I tap yeah, there you go. You you know, gotta get the leg, the old, the old hillbilly but, leg shake. Anyway, we've got a 24 inch pizza, one topping pizza. It takes, uh, thir- if you want to try to eat it, you can eat the drinks and all. It's 39.99 plus tax. If you can eat it, it's free and you get a Ooh. t-shirt. Yeah. And the way it works, two guys have to eat it in 15 minutes. One guy has to eat it in 30, 30. minutes. I personally don't think they got a snowball's chance in Hades of doing it, but you know, if you want to come try it, we well, if you think you the first you. the first two guys they failed, but you yeah. know they give it a good try. They, they give it a good, good try. try. We want to shout out to them for trying, and like I said, if anybody else wants to try it, you know. And the words of uh, who was that said, "May the force be with you." <laughs> uh, oh, Yoda. 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 Yeah, may the force Yoda. be with you. Yeah. Yoda or Obi Wan, I can't remember. But anyway, we have a good time down here. We do everything old school. We we love to sit down here and be a playing a game of rook or swapping pocket knives. And oh, John yeah. gets a kick out of it, our producer, because every time he comes in here, he meets some of his kin folk. You know? Every <laughs> time. <laughs> People ain't never met as an adult, though. That, you know what I'm saying? They that, probably met me as a kid, but I don't. That's what the atmosphere it, is, though. Yeah. This is a place that we keep it retro, old school. You come in here, sit down, enjoy yourself. We try to. And the world we live in today, Lord Hello, Marcia. Mercy, we try to keep it as old school as we can, you know. And John Sizemore says, watching. Marsha says, hi. Marsha Williams says, hi. Hi, Marsha. Hey, hey uh, John. So if you guys are having trouble finding the podcast later on, it's on www.appalachiaconnection.com. We have a podcast group called Appalachia Connection. We also have, we're, are we going with, forward with the name? For the music night, absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. the name of the music nights, you'll see events on Farmhouse Diner. It's going to be Appalachian Connection Banjos and Beyond. Is going to be the music night. Mm-hmm. So I think our first topic tonight. We of course we got the economy here in McGoffin County uh, post World War II before the coal boom was a lot different. And we've actually got Don with us tonight, and he was actually around when the coal boom hit here in the seventies. Been around a while. We're going to get him to touch on. Uh, what it was like when the coal boom yeah. hit, what the things he remembers, the things changed, and, and how everything changed all of a sudden. Because, you know, here in McGoffin County, this was an economy basically based on farming pre the coal boom. Of course, you know, everybody knows that they came in and bought up everybody's mineral rights that yeah. they could back in the early 1900s. But the coal boom still hit, and people were getting wheelage, they were getting tonnage, even the ones that didn't have the rights. And we want to get Don to touch on what it was like, what he remembers, and the big change here. In McGoffin County, but I would say East Kentucky as a whole. East Kentucky, yeah. Uh, during the coal boom. <clears throat> and it was, uh, we always had some coal moving in East Kentucky, but it was always shaft mines, you know, deep mining. Uh, what you're touching on, I guess, when it really hit was strip mining. And the first time we ever heard of that was probably 74. And it just, uh, it took off, and everybody's making tons of money. Uh, people were quitting jobs like teaching and uh and other jobs around they couldn't get bus drivers uh some of that stuff like that you know made it a little bit hard on people but everybody was man they just people getting rich overnight on from the strip mining and uh 
you turn a bunch of hillbillies loose, never had nothing, you know, make them rich. They did. They was like crazy, man. It was wild times here, you know. <laughs> uh, where, where was one of the biggest places in McGoffin County that had coal? Like where, well, Craft Creek? Probably uh, Craft up Creek? the river first, up the river, and then Craft Creek, uh, Middle Fork, uh, southern part, I'll say, of the County. county over towards Bradford County, southwestern part, Floyd yeah. County, Bradford County, part of the county, Bradford yeah. County, yeah. And uh, they, uh, it was just it was good times, you know, for a while, but and it lasted, you know, like uh, they were just getting quick money, and it didn't last that long, you know, but it, maybe up till 1980, and uh. But it was wild times, you know. It was good times for everybody. <laughs> it's a good time. Yeah. Everybody people, doing good. It, it, it helped a lot of people. It educated a lot of kids. You know, that's a good side of it. Uh, people had stuff. Uh, when I was a teenager, my brother and sister and all my friends and family had went to Michigan, Indiana, Ohio State, you know, to get jobs in the factories. And uh, a lot of those people got to come back to McGoffin County uh, when the coal business hit. My brother and sister, is uh, two of them that did. Uh, you know, you get a job up there anytime in the early 70s. Well, that if brings I didn't. up one of our questions, Don. I'm glad you brought that up. One of our patrons last week, one of our wonderful viewers, asked why did so many people that is move question. to Michigan and Ohio in the 40s? A lot well, of people. Very a lot of people. Economy. They went to well, work. They, you know, the the big work. thing in the 40s was the war. Yeah. Uh, you know, it took. They, you could get a job anywhere, you know, and a lot of them, uh, my mother and dad, they went to Ohio State, you know, and got jobs, and uh, I would say it's a great big percentage that stayed from this county and all of eastern Kentucky, really, and West Virginia, you know, some people asked me what a Hoosier was one time, and I said, <laughs> well, it's a, it's a, it was a West Virginian that was going to Indi- uh, going to Michigan and broke down in Indiana. And they, <laughs> they call them Hoosiers. <laughs> and you notice, you ever notice, you know, for all of our folks up north that are watching, and God knows we appreciate you, everyone, all these communities up north that they did go to, it's not just one family. It's a ton of family right, right in the it same is. community. So it's almost mm-hmm. like they left together and settled in the same yeah. community together and stayed there. Then the war, you know, and then in the 60s, 50s and 60s, it was the economy here. All you had was the uh, uh, school system and the state highway. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was your top-notch jobs. Yeah. Uh, and you could go to uh, Michigan and make work in a factory. Uh, I remember my brother, uh, he was making two fifty an hour in, in, uh, an hour. in 64. Yeah. And he had anything he wanted. You know, uh, he bought a house. He had two vehicles. Uh, just not like that now. And But... It was a good time, you know, if you didn't care to leave home. But, you know, it's, uh, that's why they wrote the song, you know, if I were a mile away from home. It didn't suit people. They always long for the roots, you know, in McGoffin yeah. County. And yeah. you can't beat this place, really, you know. And that was another question. And, and the same person was asking, you know, would you ever want to live anywhere else? And I can't speak for the other two, but me, no. <laughs> no. Well, if you can't I, live here, you can't live nowhere. No, I, that's I'm true. Home with my fr- yeah. friends and I, my family and my neighbors. I, I and think I that's the best part of my golf country, friends and family. Live. And I'll tell you something yeah. you'll notice. And I noticed this, and I, I know people that did it. And I know people that did it that I told them not to do it. And when we were all young... The first thing we were thinking about was how, how bad we wanted to get out of here, you know, how we had yeah. to go chase these dreams. And, and, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with chasing dreams, but chase these big ideas and this other lifestyle away from a small town. But when you get older, all you want to do is come home. Well, it's that's like, just the facts of it. That, that's well, the, facts the way it is, you know. I mean, that's life. That's home amazing. is where the heart is. I mean, just like my true. kids, I was just like, I don't want to. I don't want them living Lexington. No, I didn't. Then no, Winchester didn't. was okay, but I'd rather the, it, like schools here in McGough County is almost like having a it, private school in it, Lexington. It, it takes it takes a village to raise it is. children. I, you know, you can't raise. Well, all, I mean, you got I got uh, I got aunts and 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 parents and 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 friends that have hel- helped me and Amanda raise our child. You know, you're yeah. your mommy. Oh yeah, I, I mean, wouldn't know what to do with that. I can't imagine living somewhere and raising a child well, where you ain't we, got no help. We have still got. It, it's hard. You know, it's hard. It's not real good economy here though and there's no real, there's a friend no of mine uh, don cecil you know retired uh, school superintendent great person great guy my friend he he touched on it that we have uh, mcgoffin has lost a lot of brain power he called it mm-hmm. and i agree with that i mean i go to a lot of doctors and stuff in lexington 
and it's just unbelievable the people that you run into that works there mm -hmm. uh, from McGoffin County and uh, both my daughters left you know there ain't a whole lot here for professional people but nope there's not you know and uh, it's unreal and I agree with him I, I call it brain power you can't find no smarter people than they are right here in eastern Kentucky I, and this, I mean, this is a, just true. a touch on it too and my brother and sister will both tell you when I was probably about 10 years old I told them both I said if I ever live if the good lord lets me live <laughs> to get out of this holler I'll never eat another <laughs> soup bean yeah. I never eat. I've said the same. I never eat another. I don't want to see one. I don't want to smell them cooking. I don't want to eat a soup bean. I've had enough soup beans. I'm that way with pickle beans. And, and and here I am, you know, all these years later, and I'm making a living off of soup beans. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, people. And the, the, because, so it's it's the mentality that that young people want to leave, but then when they get older, they want to come home. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I eat soup beans myself, and I sit all the way back in. You know, and I tell you another thing. Good God, when when I was a kid. If you had a good pair of shoes, you kept your shoes clean. Because that's the first oh, thing yeah. I listen. No matter what nobody tells you, they don't look at your hind end. They don't look at none of that. Everybody knows your shoes. That's the first shoes thing they know. Thing. Yeah. Shoes is the thing. So if I had a good pair of shoes, yeah. if Will I had a good pair of shoes, I wanted to keep them clean. Willie B. Montgomery was I remember best. tying light bread bags around my shoes because I had to walk so far to catch the bus. <laughs> to keep them clean. Keep them clean. Then when I get on the bus, I jerk the light bread bags well, off and I had clean shoes. I was raised in the head of a holler over in Fort Miller Fort. I had a paddle, you know, and we didn't have a road. They had to go through the creek and different things, and it'd be muddy. But my brother, he could walk from the highway <laughs> to the house in black shoes, and it looked like he'd just shine them. It was unbelievable what he'd done. Now, how he done it? I'd have I'd have mud plumb up here, you know. I've got some, yeah. I, I got some family. i got some cousins that way, son. I'll tell you what. I don't care if you're digging a ditch or slopping the hogs, buddy. They won't get a mark on them. They won't have <laughs> dirty clothes and they work now i'm not saying that but they just got a way of staying clean you know it's a knack we need but it's and like i said guys if you want to try the pizza challenge we got a 24 a 24 inch, inch. pizza it was fun to watch to it was fun try. to watch we'd be tickled to death to have you we'll have an audience we've always got an audience here that's the blessed thing about the farmhouse we've always got an but, audience yeah, we got right. one tonight but yeah trying to raise kids in lexington is way different than here in mcgoff county I mean, you ain't got to way help. different you know it's like you know here well, and, and and Kenny Fletcher. i, I worked doing? at a private school it's like it's like you with you say say yeah. you know, say your child needs is sick at school uh -huh. Your mom's sick. You can't. You're at work. Uh, well, well, it's it's nothing for you to call down and say, "Man, do you care to run up there and, and pick yeah. my child up for me right quick?" Because we're family. Yeah, no, we know yeah. each other. We trust yeah. our children with each other. I don't I mean, know how long that's going to last. I hope it lasts forever. You know, but it's well, you can't pick up kids unless you're on a call list now or something. Well, <laughs> so I'd have, to, I'd have to like you no know, time put you on there. Cody it that way. said he said the same thing about soup beans. Well, Cody, I tell you. <clears throat> On our birthday, our mommy would make us whatever dinner we wanted, whatever it was. And and, and if, if it wasn't soup beans, Daddy grabbed all night because it wasn't soup beans. That's the way yeah. it was. <laughs> so I worked at a private school, and there was more kids at that private school in Lexington than there are kids that go to, like, elementary school or middle school or high school here yeah, in McGough County. And that was private. And this, these people were paying, like, $25,000 a year to send their kids there. Well, yeah, that, and you get that—you almost get a private school education in McGoffin County because it's so little, and you know you got all these teachers. Wow. You know they can focus on more kids because there ain't a lot of kids in the classroom. But that—that that was a big yeah. thing too. I'm going to yeah. simultaneously set in on the pickled egg. Well, uh, we got a <laughs> shout out for a birthday. You mentioned birthday a minute ago. Oh, oh birthday! Oh, my cousin Melba. She's watching. She used to babysit me when I was a little boy, and her and her sister used to fight over who got to carry me around. <laughs> My cousin Melba Allen Howard. I want to wish her a happy birthday. Happy you, birthday, Mel. Mel. Happy birthday. Mm. Hope you have a good. And we're gonna go along and try to eat these pickled eggs as we go. So overlook me. I'll try not crunch no ice tonight. <laughs> Michelle Colarn. One thing I'm most thankful for is our schools. Yeah, our we school. all are. Yeah, I, I, I think that there's a mentality here with the men that they would rather drive an hour or however and work and raise their children here than to have work here knowing what it brings with it to have to try to raise their yeah. children much. Yeah, that's right. my thought. Right. I, I don't well, that's the, that. that's the thing I had to deal with when I first started. I, I was driving. I was like, I can't do this four hours a day driving. I was like, I just can't do it. I'm like, I'm losing four hours of my life here on the road. 
You know, four hours adds up after a while. <laughs> There's been a lot of people going to uh, Georgetown, you know, still yet. Georgetown, there's uh, Toyota. Is a bunch of people drive it every day. A lot of people. And that, might, that makes it easier driving, uh, riding and driving with people, you know. If my sister's watching out there, watching me work on these pickled eggs, it'll remind Just you. Just popping in. It'll remind you of when we were kids, sis. <laughs> We just got a star mm. donation by uh, Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. Yeah, Love thank you, you Rhonda. What, what is up with that? I mean, I, I don't, I don't know about stars. It, it must be good. <laughs> they say send stars. I can't even, I can't even <laughs> find stars. So you, have, you have to have a Facebook page set up, and you can donate like these stars. So like 100 stars is like a dollar. So, well, thank you, Rhonda. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Well, who did I get that? Or what? The farmhouse guy. <laughs> <laughs> we're living on sick beans and pickled eggs. Just tip Send money. Us. I'll get a GoFundMe page. I need money. Which brings up another good point. Guys, we ain't doing this for money. We do it because we love it. We're having fun. We love you. People. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. Fun. John loves it. And like I said, not to. we can't take away enough from him. He oh, has a skill that me and Dom would have been lost by. We'd, well, we'd be lost by <laughs> high weeds without him. Absolutely. Lord have mercy. This if you awesome. have an issue. I don't care if it's your computer, your cell phone. If you can't get your speaker to work right, heck, if you can't get your TV remote program. Yeah. Holler phone. at for techholler.com. He can do it all, I promise. List. I mean, he's going to start maybe doing a class down at the library. I'm going to go. I'm going to oh, go. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, go. To, uh, you know, asked, just asked, basic uh, computer stuff. I think that would be good. I think when everybody John, needs that. Yeah. Well, that, that woman's supposed to be there. And I'm and supposed phone. to use technical devices and this technical stuff. He can fix anything but a broken heart. I can't, I can't do that now. Uh, I, try, I try. I just can't do it. Speaking of, uh, speaking of hearts, Valentine's Day is coming Valentine's up. Day. You That's know, right. What, what's everybody done for Valentine's Day? Uh, when will that be? Next Wednesday, maybe? Wednesday. Four, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are you all doing out there? Do, what What does women really want? I'd be interested. They want chocolate. They want roses. They want uh, pickled eggs. They want uh, pickled, pickled eggs. eggs uh, <laughs> uh, soup beans. Uh, come Spratt right up here and eat. I'm sure they're going to have something here at the farmhouse. I think he's going to try to get a uh, heart shaped pizza pan. If we can find a heart shaped pizza pan, we'll make one. Of them. But uh, we'll build a heart out of pepperoni. I'd be pepper. curious, you know, about what people really want to do, and uh, and and I heard something today that kind of makes me feel like, you know, we got shunned a little bit. The men did. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> for women now, they've got a thing. Uh -huh. Like if you don't have a date, they got a thing called uh, Galentine's Day where uh -huh. the women get together and go out and eat. Galentine's Day. Oh. Yeah, no, I think oh, I we should have. Of it. Yeah, I think we should have a Galentine's Day. Yeah. You know, like me, I don't have nobody to go eat with. <laughs> so, you know, don't but you. would that be weird eating with a guy? Well, so, no, because <laughs> here's my problem with My friend. So I got to get a man to flowers. Uh -huh. Got to get Clara something. Uh -huh. Then I got to take you out to eat. A, ba a it's basket. It cost me extra money. Uh -huh. Perfect. I mean, I'll mm -hmm. go for that. <laughs> a basket. Go get her a basket. <laughs> Kayla's I hadn't heard that either. I thought that was interesting. I didn't even know that. My my daughter, Courtney, told me that there was a Galentine's Day. Uh, I mean, a Galentine's you know, Day. I want a Galentine's Day. So, so there you go. I like this comment. Well, what do you all like? What does women like? Do you want the roses or candy or be winding down or just stay at home or give us some thoughts out there? That's a good question. I, I like what Kayla Spradden put on here. I moved to McGoffin County from Johnson County. My children have excelled in McGoffin schools. My children are so blessed to have teachers they, they've they had. Proud to call McGoffin my new home. So that's mm. pretty cool. Great. How many of them are you going to try to eat, bub? I've got, he said six. I'm on number three right now. Well, I'm working you got on it easy. I can't stand well, I'm going to say egg, something about this right here. Bossy Prater would eat uh, a dozen at a time. <laughs> Cody Prater. The word of the day. That is the carnies. Corn. That's the cornest looking jar I ever looked at. This it's is about the hillbilly word sick. of the day or the podcast. So, Don, the the podcast. Jar corn. Corn. That's the word. Hillbilly word, word of the podcast. Word of the week. I'm going to buy a jar of pickled blownies. I'm going to take the blownies out, put them in another jar. I've got some chicken, so I'm getting my own. These are my own eggs, by the way, and I'm not selling them, and they're not nothing to do with this restaurant. I'm eating them, just to be clear. So I can <laughs> eat my own eggs, I think, in America, can I? Yes. Yeah. All right. So these are my eggs. I put them in the pickle bologna juice. I let them sit for three days. They pickle, and I eat them. That's egg color from the yolk. Well, I turned it Ooh. yellow. Well, it's carny looking. Yeah, that, it is carny looking. A, that is an Appalachian American word, carn. Not carn. another definition of carn, like most Appalachian American words. That boy's lazier than carn. Lazier than carn, yeah. Carn is like <laughs> nasty. That's one I've actually never heard. I it's think it's, it's like nasty. 
It's so lazier than nasty. Well, lazy would be like nasty lazy. He's nasty. just nasty lazy. Oh, he's nasty he's lazy. A, he's a you know a little notch above lazy. <laughs> he's I do Karn, eat somebody out of the audience has just put me on the spot to spell Karn. Now, I ain't going to do it. K A R N. K A R N. I don't know. I think K-A-R-N. it's a C. I think it's C. <laughs> that says Karn. Karn not Karn. I don't we'll know. E Come on, guys. Give us some spelling of Karn. <laughs> it has a, does it have an E in it? Karn. Because K A R N is Karn. Guys, we got something Karn. going on, too. <laughs> I can't Our producer, say it. The manager oh, of no. Dollar, Big John Hired, has never. Eat a, pe- a pickle blunt. Here we go. No, I have it. Da, da, da. We need so some while drum I'm roll. Working on my eggs. <laughs> he's going to show you guys this sorry, pickle blunt. Sorry, guys. Ain't you got no water, John? You're going to need I a do bucket. have water up behind you me. He's going to take. I got water behind me. Pickle blunt. See how he likes it. Throw up that way if you show have to. Show the camera, John. What you right. working with? Four dollar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's it's a wiener. I hope that tastes better than the the Perry. I think you'll pre, like it, John. pre belt uh, viney smoked sausage. Oh, it's a lot better than that. All right. So Big John's eating a uh, pickled wiener. Yeah. Work on it, son. Do I have to eat it all? No. Just take a bite. <coughs> Just a big bite. A Just big bite. All right. Get you a bite. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna look at the camera. <laughs> you'll like it, John. Come on, John. <laughs> <laughs> They ain't nipples. <laughs> what is it? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, God. Get him a, oh. get him a bag. Well, what are you I'm drink? good. Hey, you oh, whoo. Oh, man, that's sir. It's pickled. Oh, yeah, it's pickled. You don't like it then? No. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no. You it wouldn't like buy it. But vinegar. We can't sell you no pickle wieners? I'm four eggs in, dog. Okay, is it, is it pickle blowny or pickle wiener? Well, oh. pickle wiener. All right. I'm four eggs in, and I John, got sweat across my forehead here. You see this? You're, you're breaking sweat, Bob. I'm four eggs in. Well, take your time. That wasn't it, boss. That wasn't it. Didn't like it. Okay, we I'm got a no on the, on the pickle wiener from John. It's a no. That's a, that's a that's a hard no. Somebody from up north, send us some. It. What's the brand that they say up there they tell us about that we were talking about the other day? I don't. I remember them mentioning it, but I don't remember the name send of it. Send us some of them, and I'll sample them. And Crackers and cheese. Coming. Get that man a cracker. Crackers and cheese, that, I agree, Rachel. That did taste a little better than the Prairie Belt smoked sausage, at least, though. It didn't taste like... Bite, since you like it so good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, do one more. Come on, John. One, one more, John, one more. Oh, another one? Come yeah. on, boys. Don't do me this way. You want some crackers and cheese? I'm going to go. You get the like Kogels, yeah, Kurt McDaniel. Kogels. Send us some Kogels down here. Kogels, yeah. It's too sour. Oh. Mm. Ain't it? I ain't got one response on the Valentine from any women. Here. Well, they, they ain't going to say because that might not be what their man's going to do. They don't want to hurt you. <laughs> well, do you have to do chocolates them. every year? Is a flower good? I don't know. Hmm? Well, what do you do? Me? You got a woman. Yeah, what are you going to do? I, I already paid for her uh, uh, no, no, nails and, and, no, and, no. Nails and no, no, feet. No, no, no. That won't work. It's got to be on that day. I asked Funny her. story. All you right, got to take her out or something. It's got to well, be we'll on that day. We'll probably go out. You can't. out the mall. And Amanda decides she wants to get a massage at this Oriental massage parlor. Well, it's legit. Yeah. Not what you see on TV. But anyway. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> so they're doing her thing, and she said, you're going to get one? I said, well, yeah. Well, he takes me in there, and he goes, you know, go. It, well, I, I'm not making fun, but he basically, as best he can, tells me to go in the bathroom and take my clothes off. I said, Uh-oh. hold it. <laughs> this ain't what kind of massage I'm going to want. No. Well, <laughs> you can't get a massage with your clothes on, can you? I mean, I don't know. I never had one. <laughs> yeah, you can, though. <laughs> I start freaking out, and I can't understand a word you're saying anyway. <laughs> uh, and Amanda comes back here because she can tell I'm fixing to get you hostile. Want to <laughs> Tony, big Because he's persistent that I go in this bathroom and take all my clothes off. And I'm trying to explain to him in a nice way I ain't going to do it. Uh-huh. And he's, he starts kind of like shoving me, you know, towards the bathroom. That was it. You know, uh-huh. that all I could take, you know. That was it. So I turn on him. <laughs> well, here comes Amanda, you know, because she sees what's happening. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, she's no, doing no, this. No. And I said, now, listen, I do your massage. You're not getting me naked. I said, don't even get your mind on. Well, he don't even know what I'm saying, you know. But anyway, here's funny stuff. <laughs> it's a bad time. Of course, Amanda, you know, I'm embarrassed her like usual, but whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to eat these eggs and talk. Oh. I'm about to get choked to death. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, about to, I'm about to try the light bread challenge. I don't know. Well, we got a lot of cornbread to eat, too, boys. We got to hold it together. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to eat. 
<laughs> cornbread. I can't wait to eat the cornbread. That looks good. Oh, God, these eggs choke me to death. Oh, yes. Eat, eat the rest of those pickled wieners, Doc. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> For some reason, if you no. pickled egg eaters out there, I've got sweat coming across the top of my forehead. I don't know. So we got all kinds of comments about the Valentine's Day, what they oh, want. Have we? Go ahead. Well, I haven't seen any of them, man. Let's see. Women want and deserve chocolate flowers and wine and dine. Michelle co Arnett. it. There now, you go. There you go. Add a girl mouth. More. Get some more. <laughs> Sir says flowers die like love on Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's depressing. <laughs> well, wow. Uh, let's see. We got some more. I'm going to order Jackie some chocolates from KY Florals. So <laughs> somebody wants a mini donkey. <laughs> That's a Vavian. Cousin of Vavian. <laughs> Man told me a quiet evening with good company donkey. makes a good Valentine's Day. No, it's all right. That ain't bad. Who said that? Debbie Borders. Hope you guys don't mind me uh, mentioning your names. If you don't, I, I won't do it no more. But uh, oh, they don't care, son. That's our people. Janet Somebody Bailey Nichols. Covered, Dinner covered, gift card, chocolate, chocolate covered strawberries. Pedicure. Nobody <laughs> wants I, a, I got one woman with a pedicure. See, That's I'd kind of be looking for a woman that wanted to pick an egg or something, you know, or pick a winner. <laughs> Another so, appellation got, word. There you go. I tore them eggs into ziblets. Yeah. Ziblets. Yeah. Somebody out there know what it means. I well, put them eggs in the ziblets. Just you just you destroyed them. Uh, uh, you just exploded them. Earth's mom, carn is derived from the word carnal, which is found in the Bible. Patty, did you know that? John said he had never heard it. Had you heard it before? Never heard it. Carn is derived from the word carnal, which is found in the Bible. I did not know that either. What was that? Carn. It's C. Carn. Carn. I knew it was with a C. Yeah, it's with a C. Okay. Carn is derived from the word. Carnal, which is found in the Bible. Sorry about that, folks. Carnal. Well, I didn't know that. Becky, that reminds me of one time years upon years ago I heard Tony tell a story about wow. fighting, and he said he was taller than me. Not that <laughs> and all I could do was kick him as hard as I could in the kneecaps. I don't like pickles. <laughs> I hope to God I never have to fight again, but you can sure one thing. If I do, I'm biting, kicking, biting, <laughs> Well, you don't, don't fight fair. No, I never did. I never no. have. I, I don't <laughs> see don't any reason to. No, no. I don't see any reason to fight fair. No, I back kick, claw, pull hair. Fight like they a girl. Pull hair, like Tom. a girl. I don't, whatever I got to do. They can't you pull know. our hair. So no, they, they ain't one thing about it. They ain't going to pull my hair. I <laughs> they ain't going to pull my Tony's hair. <laughs> hey, I'm a peaceable man. Show them the mop, John. They need to see it. You always <laughs> got a hat on. Show them the shine of the mop. Oh, oh yeah. baby. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Go to locks. There you go. That's all the way right there. Hey, it still grows. It just, it just recedes real bad right here. Guys, I got don't one egg left, and then we'll move on to bigger things. <laughs> Oh man! Right there. See, that's another word I don't even, right I don't there, even yep. realize I'm saying it. I've always said that. That right there. I said right there. So, there. So right should right we now. talk about uh, McGough County basketball right now, or, or well, well, talk about anything you want to, John? You're the producer. <laughs> well, uh, I'm just trying to get us on something. A lot of talent this year. There is yeah. a lot of talent. There went some eggs over on your computer, by the way. Get, 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 a, get, a, little, get a little egg on there. <laughs> That works it might fry it a little bit. It gets awful hot. Talk with your mouth full, Tony. You're spraying eggs. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to eat them. Yeah, I, I feel like McGough County's got more talent right now in the in the basketball team than I've seen in a while, at least. Since You're welcome, about 2000, Go ahead. 2003, I'd say. <laughs> Three, two thousand four, something like that. Speaking of Valentine's Day, my wife made me a bet that I won't air out what the payment was, that I couldn't eat these six eggs. Oh. I'm gonna eat them. So, baby, <laughs> what, what kind of deal did you get? I'm getting a little red. I'm gonna eat them. I, I don't care. With any deal, reason, I'm not eating anything. <laughs> what kind of deal did you get, though? I, I know. We're not talking on air, but I'm eating the eggs. Just bear with me. <laughs> Must be worth it, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, uh, my mom brought me out on pickle stuff. Period. Oh, son, I'll tell you what, right pickle now. Pickle beets. Ooh. Right now, I can feel the blood in my body slowly pickling. <laughs> I can't. I mean, because it, it, it's coming across my forehead. Take your big drink of that gummy stuff. I d do that. Well, I can do that. Let you can take a big drink of that. Ooh. Chase it with that gum, Mary. I can. That corn. That <laughs> number six right here. Is that it? You got them. He's got it down here. Oh. I'd say that right there would cure snake bite. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I ain't trying to pull one on you. I'm a working on it. That's six, five and a half. Him. He's got them down. But a bad thing about trying to draw it, reminds me, love doing it. Reminds me of the movie Cool Hand Luke. Mm -hmm. Why did you have to say 50? Big, big shout out to our cousin Kirk McDaniel. <laughs> guys, you ain't seen the movie Cool Hand Luke, cult classic. 
Yeah. What we have yeah. here <laughs> is a failure to communicate. Yeah. <laughs> Struthers Martin, greatest character actor ever, yeah. said that. He is a warden in Kuban Luke. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, if you guys like basketball, McGough County basketball's got a pretty good basketball team they this do. year. Yeah, they do. We'll they do. They go a little bit longer tonight, guys, to get this cornbread through and everything. Oh, yeah. Get our giveaway done, get these eggs hit. But, uh, yeah, the high school sports is, uh, you say it's. Uh, I, I look forward to the middle school, like football players coming in the high school. Like this year's middle school football team, I coached them. They're going to be really good when they get into about junior year. It's yeah. going to be well, something to see in McGoffin County. It is, it's going to, they're going to be good. As long as they stick together, really they work. We good middle school football team. We had a really good middle school football team this that's year. What I heard. Well, that's what it takes. I mean, you've got to play a long time together. That's why this one and done, I don't, you know, you'll never have yeah. a, hey. a, a dominant team anymore. Listen, these kids are going to camps. They're getting invited to Florida. They're getting invited to Team Kentucky and everything, these middle school kids are. You know, football. this is not off topic. It's on topic. But I watched a kid play last night from Ashland. Of course, I'm a McGoffin County fan regardless. Yeah. But I can speak on other high school athletes. This kid was probably one of the best – one of the best athletes I've watched play all year. <coughs> so, Amanda looked him up today. We're just looking about it, you know, who he was, whatever. Yeah. He's a devout Christian, got a great attitude, and already he's a junior, and he's already signed to play D1 college basketball. Mm-hmm. But I told her last night when we were watching him, I said, listen – that boy's the real deal. Oh, I've seen some earth shaker he's rat, probably, rattles this year. He's probably 6'5", Don, about your height, but he's a point guard. He handles well, the ball like a point guard. Well, that's what it takes to, and be, a great attitude, to be a Division never one questions player. Calls, never, <laughs> he's a leader. He, he's, he's, he, I can tell he's, he's a player. That's what it takes to be a guard. you got to have the size. Of course, size. Now, we got some great athletes here, too. I'm not taking away from that, but I – yeah. When we looked him up, it just stood out to me. I thought he was. A we got some, there's some good. Like, I love Eastern Kentucky sports, regardless. Oh, you know, man. I want them oh, all to do good. Our, of course, I want McGoffin County to be the best because I love McGoffin County. And what County, about our archery team is just dominating? Ain't you? Archery I mean, team is doing good too. It's mm-hmm. just something that just started. You know, is doing great. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> that's true. Amy Barnett says, "Fun fact: John has been bald since he had a daughter." <laughs> yep. <laughs> if you ask Willow, Dad has always been bald, showing her pictures of her dad with. her. Her, she thinks it's weird and says that's not her dad. <laughs> that's true. Well, she I've been she took the rest of my hair. My daughter did. She took, I've been I, gray she since took I had my daughter. <laughs> so they, they, they took your color. Well, and it, it's good. You know, it's great. I want to see her, Tom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get you a big swallow of that, son. Let's, a big see, it. Let's see a big swallow of a that. Holler, a swallow and a holler. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Woo. Is that, Woo. Is that corny? Wow. Well, heck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, we it's gonna be rough at home tonight. <laughs> Somebody's red. All right. You're gonna start radiating in a minute. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now let's get the that, best. That, that, <laughs> that hurt him. That hurt him. Well, yeah. That. That's Anybody what, hungry out there, guys? I pickle. The look here. I'm a I'm a catfisher, <laughs> renowned catfisher. I mean, I'm not gonna apologize for being a good catfisher. And I use that juice to pickle bait in. I mean, that's what I use it for. And the catfish love Another it. Another topic no we doubt. all know something about. Uh, <laughs> that, that away a boy. from Eastern Kentucky, do paypons exist, or is it only a here thing? Well, I know in England they do, but in instead England. of catfish, they fish for carp. <laughs> Andrew that, Furbar. That's true. <laughs> McGoffin carp. always wanted me to play yeah, center back and turn them down. In okay, Fur. In, uh, <laughs> in England, it's carp instead of catfish. Carp. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to eat in our car. Where's well, the best place to fish at in McGoffin County? To, what, what, what kind of fishing? The bass fishing. Farm pond. Farm pond. Where's that? Where's that? I don't even know where that's at. Thousands of them. Oh, a you, farm Are you just uh, saying a farm, uh, a farm, farm pond? A farm pond every half a mile. Well, I mean, if you <laughs> know, know where they're at, farm, you know I thought, they are. I thought that was like a place. If you're going to try to <laughs> catch something like you don't get a sucker run so or have to get the river. So I have to build my own pond and put bass in it. No, we find you a pond. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of palm got a slap full of bass. Hi, Marley. Love you. Miss uh, you. Talk about a public place. How you do that? You ain't got to ask permission love? for. Marley? No. You no. These there's all kinds of ponds on the strip mines that nobody even cares. There's all kinds. They're stock. Yeah, no, plenty okay. of fish. I, that's one yeah. thing. A lot of people ask me is like, well, where I, can you fish in McGuffin? I told County? Bentley I'm gonna take him hunting and fishing, so we'll take yeah. him one day. We'll go. We'll hit it. Yeah. See, I love catching bass. That's my thing, fishing. Mm-hmm. I can't catch much, but I like ca- trying to catch them anyway. If you are out there <laughs> and you have skills with hunting and fishing, take a child hunting and fishing. 
these traditions that have founded our community for all these years are for all these years are dying. That's right? true. And We're gonna we go fishing, Marley. I'm gonna teach you how to catch catfish like I did your mom and yeah. aunt. Yeah. Take a child hunting and fishing. But as he has talked about that forever. <laughs> take kid fishing. Take a child hunting and fishing. Oh yeah. I'll take always, took my uh, kids fishing. Cousin Bud has always promoted that. Now my daughter will tell you that I made her learn how to skin a rabbit. I made her because listen, they may come a day when she's got to feed yeah, her right. youngin. She's got to feed her youngin. Take a child hunting and fishing. Teach them how to survive. We don't know what the futures are bringing. You know, we we'll pray about it, and God only hopes it'll be the best. But we don't know. Tony is just a little bit Teach of a catastrophic survive. thinker, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a prepper, I guess. I, oh, he, I'm, I'm prepared, you know. No, you're not a prepper because you're too lazy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> you're Take just a, you're a catastrophic oh, thinker. Uh, but Felicia's got a good Valentine's Day thing. Back to Don's Valentine's Day question. Kurt always gets me chocolate-covered strawberries, oh, man. flowers, and a nice dinner. I just love spending time with my handsome boys. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, right he's got Kurt making us all look I'll bad, boys. What, how do you put on there them? Clapping hands. Yeah. Way to go, Kurt. Way to go, crazy legs. You're the man. Whoa. Oh, Lord. Uh, Bentley would have to show John how to skin a rabbit. That's true. Guys, I think we ought to dip into some cornbread. I guess cornbread, so. Let's do it. All right, let's get the girls back here. Well, yeah, we need to, you know, figure out. One piece out at a time. Who's who? Or, I mean, you know, we we'll, what are we going to judge it the best? Or? No, yeah, we can do it that way or just tell what we think about it. <laughs> Gary Borders would never kneel on fishing and hunting gig. <laughs> yeah, Bentley probably would have to show me how to skin a rabbit. I don't know much about hunting. Well, we'll show, we'll show you and Bentley both at the same time. Well, yeah. yeah. All I, mean, I, I went squirrel hunting like one time in my life. I'll tell you what, I'll be honest with you. I used to hunt and I lived for it. I couldn't sleep at night, like before season opened. But uh, as I've gotten older... I've, I've got more sensitive. I've just I've got more sensitive, John. I, I don't like kill a fly. I mean, and <laughs> You've I've, become a monk. I've huh? stopped. I've stopped hunting. What's that, guys? This is some yeah, well, good looking good. cornbread. We got that's several right. pones here, and yeah. I promise you, this is good looking cornbread. They ever one look now, good. This is made with fresh ground, like home cornmeal. Fresh ground, ground home cornmeal. Home cornmeal. I think one piece would do us all. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, let's see here. I'm just gonna break off a piece of edge because I, I listen. Speaking of this, oh. I'm not a fan of cut cornbread. Mm. I like to break it off. Right. You know, that's just the way it is. I've raised that well, way, and that's the way I like it. So here Being we go. Being a craft great cornbread eater, that's good cornbread. That is good cornbread. <laughs> wow. Mm. That's not the crunch. Here we go. You ain't gonna eat that. Hey, ASMR cornbread. <laughs> that is good cornbread. All right. Hmm. Right. This. This looks. Mm. No, that's a. This oh, looks, I'm gonna keep eating that. That was good mm. cornbread. Mm. This looks good too. Yep. Cornbread <laughs> is kind of like pizza now. Everybody likes it different. I like thin cornbread and crunchy, it's but th a little thinner. So than it's, it's gonna be hard, you know, to. A little thinner than the first one. Mm. This this reminds me more of a the, pancake. I love the consistency mm. of this. Reminds know. me more of a pancake. No. Mm. Sure, it tastes good. That's good cornbread. That is good cornbread. Who made all this? Well, you'll be in out of nowhere, but somebody knows how to make cornbread. Well, no. <laughs> the first one, which was the fruit. Where's the sweet beans at, Lisa no. Fogel says? Oh, it's good. That's good. Mm. Your daughter made the little thin crispy. That's good, mm -hmm. too. All right. That looks good. Oh, what we got here? That's almost looks, like a corn oh, wow. muffin. Look at that. You got to have a special, special ah. skillet for that, don't you? What is this? Oh, that's good too. That's a cornbread. Look at this. Well, I don't. Look it over. So Muffin. See that? Chris. That's good. Yeah, that's made with like a special pan or something, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I'd say so. Yeah, they got them little iron. I've seen them before. Like, you know how you make the cornbread sticks? They got the little iron weight yeah. things. Looks like there's a. It's like something in the middle made it pop up more. Well, <clears throat> that's good too. That's good too. Well, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's even got a little sweet to it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Not good. Well, well, I'll tell you one thing. Courtney made a pound of cornbread. My daughter, good Courtney. That's good. She made a pound of cornbread. She was learning. We just had like our flour and stuff in mm -hmm. canisters. Mm, that's, that's good, too. And uh, she, she got uh, mixed up. <laughs> and it was like, uh, 
We call the sugar the powdered sugar. She put powdered sugar in it instead of flour. That was interesting. Well, we got, oh, it's good, though, Courtney. We got another Loved triangle it. one. Mm. Mm. We got to say another triangle That's one. That's good cornbread. Guys, I, I, this is hard. I don't, do you guys know how to make bad cornbread? <laughs> is, there, is there such a thing? I mean, they're the best cornbread bakers in the county get together and do this. That's good. Now, can you tell that that's made with buttermilk? No. This I is never, made with buttermilk. Well, I never can, though. It's I different, can't. yeah. I can't. No. It's more uh, I can't tell with biscuits or cornbread it's, buttermilk. It's, I can. It's lighter, ain't it? That's good. It's a little more sour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, good. That, that's we're, carb, uh, we're carb loading. Paul Montgomery. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good cornbread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can taste the buttermilk in it. That's good. I love buttermilk biscuits. Oh, too. Now, this one looks insane to me. I, I've never it's had bacon. So oh, bacon, man. This is right here, top of the shelf, right here. Mm. You're talking bacon, <laughs> I mean. Another triangle one. Mm. Bacon is. You guys uh, see that has bacon. Wow. For all of you the out there that there. don't, put bacon on your cornbread. Bacon. Trust me. I didn't even know people put bacon on cornbread. Mm. Wow. Right <laughs> good. No, I, ain't gonna, I don't know. I could have some fried taste right there. Mm. Mm. You don't know. Just makes it perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's almost like eating a biscuit. Well, help me, boys. I, this is there. It's ever been good. I can't. It's all. I can't make. I can't decide. I promise you, I can't. And I can assure you, out there watching, I've eaten bad cornbread. Oh yeah. And we this ain't it. <laughs> we ain't bad cornbread tonight. No. I'm just going. <laughs> I'm just going to say I, I can't decide. It's all great. It's super great. I will say it's between these two for me. I like the bacon. I will say from now. On, I don't know which one. When you bake cornbread, but they're all great. Put bacon on it because that really gives it a good flavor. The, these two right here. The the bacon was just another level almost. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, I it's almost know, not even fair. That's I not fair. That makes it good. <laughs> I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat almost the whole, even fair gum. Uh, the bacon. The whole piece of the bacon cornbread. Good. Good. Pickled eggs and I'm a My cousin Paul yeah. Montgomery. Oh, with bacon. Fantastic cornbread. He's bacon with bacon. I mean, These that's not fair. He's two right here. Somebody out there that eats a lot of pickled eggs, should I, I be having stomach pains right, right now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you having stomach pains, oh. bud? You're welcome, Courtney. It was good cornbread, Courtney. I promise it was. It is sweet. A lot of people make sweet cornbread. Good grief. First, good make what's cornbread. called Mexican cornbread with jalapenos and corn. You ever eat that? I'm going to tell you that I've eaten cornbread all my life. And nary one of these pounds of bread right here, anybody could say ain't nothing but good. Well, I, I agree with you. I don't know how you could judge them. I, I, I can't judge it. They're I can't. different. They are all. They all taste different, but they're all good. Absolutely. That's what yeah. I got. I, that's the way I'm going with it. And, and and if I had to pick, which like I said, it's not fair because it's got bacon on it. But I don't know. <laughs> the bacon's I go almost with the bacon. The bacon's not fair, Gumby. Um, but the bacon gives it that extra uh -huh. extra Cheap. flavor. Yeah, we ain't, we're gonna we're gonna count, we, we ain't gonna count it in because it's got bacon on. But it's a kind of a step above, you know. But oh my goodness, <laughs> the wedge pan makes a difference. I'll say that. Yeah, those little good grief. That's a good cornbread. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna, I've, I've loved every one of them, for real. And this too. cornbread right here, the thin cornbread. I love it, too. See, be, uh, I'm going to say this. Would be for me. They, they are, <laughs> there are places for thin cornbread. Mm -hmm. Right. Different right. dishes require different right. cornbread. Would you agree with that? Yes. I do. I yes. mean, soup beans and then the fried taters and green beans and stuff. I like a little bit different yeah, size and consistency of my cornbread. I mean. That, like, you know, if you're going to try to judge it, for me. My my perfection would be the thin and crispy. I love it but too. But then the bacon has the best flavor, mm -hmm. and the other wedge pone mm -hmm. has. Uh, and that the, uh, I mean, it's just crazy. And it's that first good. one, the, the yeah, first one we tried with the real meal or whatever it was. The real meal, it had its own distinct yeah, I, that's flavor. What I'm but saying, it was good. Yeah. yeah. Like the buttermilk one, I would almost eat for breakfast. Right. Right. Like a, a, almost with a piece of sausage in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the thin, like if I'm sitting down, I'm eating, let's say I'm eating fried taters and goulash. I want the thin and crispy cornbread. That's thin and crispy is really good. It is. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, but then you can't take away not, from the, the wedge pan cornbread because it's awesome, too. I don't know. I can't I can't. I say. can't either. All great. Tony, they say you're going to be living hands of the soon. cornbread makers. So I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm a hurting. <laughs> cornbread makers a hand. Hey, go out and shout out to all our cornbread oh, makers. Hey. Every bit awesome.
Wow. Great. Now Out- listen, they all beat the Prairie Belt smoked sausages. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to say. If, if I could make one pound of cornbread with a piece of each one of them that I had, per- perfect. What is what the yes? Perfect. I mean, that's as good as it gets. That's right. I'm spitting all over you, John. I'm trying to. It's all right. I'll be putting Tony out in the doghouse. Pepsi and cornbread. I, lo- I like Coke, but <laughs> that, you can't beat Pepsi and cornbread. <laughs> yes, it is. I, I agree with the baby. I'll covered wagon, bub. I'll pull a covers over here. covered wagon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But, wow. Yeah. So, for me, <laughs> and I'll let the boys give their take final on the cornbread. I mean, they're all so good. And their own unique way. There you go. Yeah. So they, how do you judge it? You can't. They just all. And I'll good. tell you what. I come from a. I come from a history and a long line of cornbread eaters. Yeah. And some old fellows that would tell you, and they'd ever one tell you every one of them. Not like you see. You got preferences. Everybody does. It's like there a pizza. Go. Thin and crispy. Yep. But then when you add the bacon, see that puts it at a whole other level for me. And I don't even <laughs> yeah. know if that's fire or not. You know. Uh, that's yeah. Not that's, yeah. But then here's something else too. But now you, I, I've heard you can I make can corn tell. in it and everything. Yeah, you I put can corn, tell jalapenos. These two right here, cornbread. see, I've seen what they were made in, I know. Uh-huh. These are little orange, to cast iron wedge pans, and that that puts mm-hmm. it in a whole other level. A whole other, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's all good. I can't say. Good grief. Love it all. Love wow. It. You well, guys out there in, uh, in podcast land, or video land, Facebook land, whatever you're watching this on, let us know what your favorite way to eat cornbread is. Because that was... Well, uh, Vavian says cornbread and Pepsi. And I have eat it with Coke, but it's the same thing. We, it's it's we, good together. I like it. We are going to have to have a... Uh, a, a Cody secret. Prater said disqualified Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> disqualified Gumby, sorry. We're about yeah. to have a uh, Coke versus Pepsi pop challenge or something. Well, are, you up to the cor- are you up to the light bread challenge? You're going to wait a while. <clears throat> I mean, we can wait. What's the light bread challenge? you got to eat it in 30 seconds. A piece eat of bread. one piece of bread. I can eat a piece of bread in 30 seconds. You can? Go get you one. Without giving away. Don Don is convinced that you can't eat it in thirty seconds. All right, guys, we got what we're going to do. <clears throat> we're going to do something a little different tonight. We want to step back, like Don said. This was Don's idea. Of course, he's old school. So, the number down at the farmhouse diner is six zero six three four nine three two seven six. Our fourteenth caller, starting now is going to get the uh, Valentine's Day dinner at Lakefront Church. The 14th caller starting now. Start calling. The number should be on the screen right now. 349-3276. They'll write down the callers, and the 14th caller (laughs) is going to get the Valentine's (laughs) Day dinner. This is our giveaway right now. Here we go. Burn it up. (laughs) Oh, we got our first caller. (laughs) 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 So, guys, you should see the number on the screen right now. Give that number a call. See if you can win win something tonight. The 14th caller for the Valentine's Day dinner giveaway. Live winning right now. And we're doing this from the old school radio days. (laughs) From the, what was it, 14th caller? I hear the phone ringing wide open. That was, that was the second caller, wasn't it? That was the fourth, fifth. Four. Yeah, oh. They're rolling. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be able to hang it up. <clears throat> we appreciate all you guys watching and tuning in. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gumby, he, we, we always have a... Some of our younger folks up there, guys, answering the phone, have never been a part of anything. So it's good for them. It's a little <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. It is good for them. Gumby used to put, he'd have beetle hounds give away and they'd give my number, and I couldn't, I had to unplug <laughs> it from the wall. I couldn't hang it up. <laughs> oh, another announcement. I ordered a bunch of Appalachian Connection t shirts yep. yesterday. There you go. Appalachian Connection t shirts. They will be here within a week. If you're interested in one, they feel good too, you know? Oh, yeah. You let us know. I think I've got three 3X, three 2X, three XL, three large, and three medium. I never know nobody that was a small in my family, so I didn't want to <laughs> My child, I guess he, he could wear a small. <laughs> but my thinking is if you can wear a small, you can probably wear a medium and a T-shirt. Yeah, know? probably. I hear it going wild open up there. Gumby's got it on read off. He's wanting that. He's a, he's a wanting that dinner, boy. <laughs> guys, remember uh, how much we enjoy this and how yeah, thankful I appreciate we are. you guys tuning in. This you don't know. It's growing astronomically Crazy. fast. Uh, Hope you, well, got, you can tell them how fast it's growing. You know more oh, about that post yeah. than I TikTok's know. growing. YouTube's growing. Facebook is going crazy. TikTok's going real crazy. I don't know if you guys know we have a TikTok, but you just look up Appalachian Connection. We got shorts or TikToks on TikTok. The 
all the clips. Get her and like and share. It's going absolutely. It has. To, it has to be going locally viral. Yeah, locally like viral. everything in McGough County and, uh, looks like it's muted. <laughs> and uh, don't forget tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow evening. Megan Allen. All right, we got a winner. Whoa. Got a winner. The winner for the free Valentine's Day dinner at Lakefront Church of God. Megan Allen. Megan Allen is our winner. Megan Way to Allen. go, Megan. Congratulations. All right, next giveaway. Here we go again. Do it again, right? Yeah. Yep. Next giveaway, when I start it, we'll do the uh, 17th caller. 17th caller. 17th caller. It's going to be a new NES portable. What? It's a jump. portable DVD player, and it can play NES games. It's completely free. It's a thing I reviewed on techholler.com. If you guys want to check out the video, follow on Facebook or YouTube. But check it out. It's free. It, 17. It, it actually holds a charge and everything, but uh, it doesn't appear to play north american dvds but you can burn dvds and it'll play it surely okay but uh Sounds it has good, nes John. games they play yeah i won't say it's a spectacular prize but it's good, something be good for I, you kids it's free I, yeah Sounds be good great. for kids they, they, they'll like it how uh, much is it john well, what kind of value we got on it? about 50 dollar value all right so. 50 bucks uh, nintendo entertainment system okay. comes with a little controller you can play mario you know what mario is don't know what Mario is. Yeah. Oh, Lord, you're well, I thought Mario was hurt my feelings. <laughs> Gumby <laughs> was saying what Mario is. Super Mario? You never played no, Mario no. on Nintendo? Gumby's not a gamer. He's just oh. on the edge. Oh. You can play Super Mario on it. I won't say it's spectacular, but we'll come I up will. with better prices. I'm not a gamer, but I smoke you at some Mario Karts. And I, I throw banana peels at you. Be one more shot. I mean, you ain't got a chance with Mario Kart. <laughs> We'll play Halo 2. Guys, I'm Come just, on, keep I calling. Hit that read dog. I wouldn't challenge John at any video game. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just joking. I can't. I can't maybe maybe well Halo and Quake. I, I, end, I probably know? got an upper hand, but other games I really don't. You know what I said, Don? I said I do well digging behind me, and I can't, <laughs> <laughs> I can't play video games. I ain't game. getting into that. But, uh, we'll, I'll come up with some better gifts, like computers and stuff. When I come across some old ones, I'll fix them up and give and them away. And we're going to continue to do. I've got one more announcement while I'm thinking that. We have a local girl here that is a manager at McDonald's. Her name oh, is yeah. uh, Kendra Williams, and she has she has a few seniors that are working there for her. Don't know the story or why, but she's decided to go around local businesses and buy gift cards and raffle them off and yeah. then give the money to the seniors for their senior trip. Mm -hmm. I know right now she's got a farmhouse diner, $50 gift card. It's $10 a spot, and then she does a, a giveaway, and all the proceeds go to the seniors. Go to her page, Kendra Williams, and yep. help her out, guys. She's on really it's admirable what she's yeah, doing. She help just, these kids out. She's helping the kids that work for her, the seniors, to go on their senior trip. It's absolutely <laughs> awesome what she's doing. But yeah, guys, I get a lot of old computers and stuff I can fix up, and I would just like to give them out to whoever would want them, like kids maybe that would be in, interested in computers because we need more stuff yep. in McGough County, kids learning about computers because there just ain't nothing here. Everybody everybody has an iPad, but an iPad's not a computer. I will Speaking say that. Speaking of that, are you going to do your class? I'm going to try. I already messaged me be free for anybody that wants it's to. It's absolutely free, and I, I, I'm hoping to team right. up with that woman that does it and okay. just help out. So Good. Awesome. We'll see if we can do Good. that, Anybody John. out there watching that would like some more knowledge about technical stuff, John's going to start a class maybe down at the public library. It's going to be at the library. Uh, it's supposed to be. And be awesome to help people work through. Well, you can do, probably you could show them on phones, computers. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Put me down It's going to be mostly one. about computers, so. Most, but if, most you, computers. if they did want to come in and let you help them work Facebook or whatever. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. And guys, John does a really good job with he manages the farmhouse diner uh we Facebook had to disqualify page. gumby His, we had to just cody prater told us disqualify gumby oh because yeah because of he, the bacon uh, he went <laughs> over the top of the bacon <laughs> happy birthday to cody happy, happy birthday, birthday to cody prater happy birthday to you happy birthday to you how old a boy are you happy birthday to cody. <laughs> You're Happy supposed to say, this birthday, is your birthday song. It's not very Cody. long. I hope you live forever and I never die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I so. Hey, I want to bring some stuff up. It's obviously an offer. Okay. Sounds good. Announcement. Another announcement. Kate Isaac. Kate, Kate, Kate Isaac. 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 Kate Isaac. All right. Uh, on the portable DVD player. Portable DVD player. Kate Congratulations. Isaac. Uh, John, hey. you'd want to drop it off. So tomorrow. She can, John will drop it off tomorrow, okay? So let's shoot for like Saturday. You grab it. Stop by here and grab it any time. <laughs> it's not as a big prize, but it, it, it'd be pretty cool. Yep. Maybe maybe somebody like you can give it away too if you want to. But I, I, I review tech stuff on YouTube, so I usually want to do something with it because it's, it's just laying around if I One more quick mention. Then I'll uh, then we'll end with uh, 
try to get something. We ain't, we ain't been as funny tonight, but you know, Lord, them pickled eggs just weren't. I mean, they destroy, they destroy you, the. You're radiating a little bit. Oh well, look at my forehead. It's yeah. a sweat. We're about to put you in the Shout nuclear plant. I don't uh, think we got through that. Ah, uh, yeah, I got you, baby. I already announced them. Thank you. Uh, Gumby McGum- got Paul Montgomery. Gumby Paul. Uh, Helps with the Special Olympics. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't, for those of you don't know what the Special Olympics is, it allows children who are different to be able to participate in, in Olympics like the normal children. He does a lot of fundraising. I think here we do cupcakes, or we do, we're do we going to do pizza this year. We do a lot of cupcakes. Help him out with this, guys. This is admirable what he does. He works hard. And it's these mm-hmm. kids, you do not know. I saw some of the pictures of how uh, – what's the word – proud Mm -hmm. i'll just say proud how accomplished that it makes these children to to participate in these olympics so it's an admirable thing uh i need need this three hundred three thousand he's trying to raise three thousand dollars thousand dollars so if you can help him out there it really going to a good cause i mean like i said if you could watch these children he's going to bring some stuff up we'll auction it off yeah That'd be uh-huh. awesome. If you could watch these children and how admirable that, and how, how proud they are to participate in this, it's just – it's unbelievable. So help him out if you can. He's a good we'll, friend uh, of ours. Of course, he's Don's cousin. To, he like my cousin. We could try to put it online you. maybe. Like yeah, yeah. Help him out. Uh, topics, guys. Moving forward, our You're audience welcome, is Kate. awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, you know, we're maintaining 100, 100 plus viewers, which is we awesome. We really appreciate yeah, awesome. you all. A this local really... podcast. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh Give us some topics. Shoot us yeah. out some topics, what you want to discuss. Uh, right quick, sponsors again. Tracked Outdoors, Creekside Stitching and Feed, TechCollar.com, Granny Made Cheesecake. Uh, the giveaways, every week we're going to have something to give away. We'll have some more stuff next oh, yeah. week, whether it's gift cards, whatever. I, I'm <laughs> even considering going around to local businesses and getting gift cards and giving That'd them be away, cool. you know, just to try to help promote everything. Absolutely. We're not doing this for money. We're doing it because we enjoy it. Maybe set up a yeah. GoFundMe. So Tomorrow, 6 o'clock. donate for the Special Olympics. That's a big idea. Tomorrow, 6 <clears> o'clock. <throat> Are you going to stream tomorrow night? Yeah. Tomorrow, 6 o'clock, live music. Uh, it's hard to say who will show up to pick. It'll be a crowd. John John will stream it on the page mm-hmm. for you. Follow everything on Farmhouse Diner. Oh, yeah. Uh, topics for next week. Give us give us some ideas. We listen. We'll take oh, what we, we we'll, think. We'll come up with something. <laughs> <funny. say>. <laughs> <laughs> nah. We'll come up uh, with something. Food for next week. My man John told me that he ain't never tried kill lettuce and onions. Uh-uh. So if I can get a hold of some fresh lettuce, which I should be able to, we're going to kill some lettuce and onions and bacon grass. <laughs> So that that's going to be <laughs> comment right now. If you're watching, Gumby. if you eat killed lettuce and onions, that's going to be anybody out anybody out there that wants to. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I thought you was done. You was just talking. Why don't <laughs> anyway? <laughs> anybody that wants to come up more night and sing? We'll try to get you on. Uh, it's open mic. Uh, we're going to have a little bit better sound this time. Hopefully, <laughs> glad to have uh, glad to have you. We just want to promote the talent here in in McGoffin County or any eastern part of Kentucky. Don't matter. You know, if you want to come tell a story, if you want to uh, read a poem, uh, it don't matter. If you want to sing, just uh, – and uh, so don't forget that. Tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Pe- People's Bank will donate to Special Olympics. Thank you, Cody Prater. That'd Cody awesome. Prater just announced he's going to – People's Bank's going to help with Special Olympics. Thank you, Cody. He always steps up, Cody does. And happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday. Yeah, how old a boy are you there? <laughs> this is your birthday song. It's not very long. How tell, old are you, Cody? <laughs> tell my cousin Jackie I love her. <laughs> Jackie L. Bailey Prater. I donate a dozen of chocolate cups. Yeah. Oh, you have a birthday every week. Morals. You must be 150 now. Uh, cor- corned beef and cabbage. More of a northern delicacy. I don't know. I, well, uh, I don't know. I have had corned it, Corned beef, yes. yeah. I've had it. Yes. Fried cabbage, had though, beef. is you know corned beef hash. No, I was raised on. Uh, I was raised on oh. fried cabbage. I love yeah, it. I, 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 I yeah, like, fried you know. cabbage, cooked cabbage, uh, it's, sauerkraut. It's fried and lard, you know, lard, yeah. lard. Oh, but sauerkraut. no, this is oh. this is a northern. I've had it. Another northern delicacy, guys, for our people up north that are watching. A quiche. <laughs> quiche. Have you ever eaten a quiche? I no, a quiche. I don't even know what it is. A quiche. It's is a fruit, a, ain't it? Uh, is it a no, fruit? No, it's a it's a it's a meat pie. I think oh. it's actually originated. It's a Scandinavian dish, but it's a meat and egg, and it's it's like a breakfast. It's it's a meat pie. Uh, Angela Townsend, uh, 
Help me. Mayonnaise uh, or salad dressing? Ooh, mayonnaise. Ooh, no. Help me tell what a quiche is, Angela Towns, and I know you know. Uh, explain it on here. Also, <laughs> we have an awesome home basketball team this year. Yeah. Awesome. They do a really good job. They're talented. Uh, the crowd is great. Get out. Take your youngin. Take your man. Fun. Take your woman. Take your mm-hmm. mother. And watch the Hornets yeah, play basketball. Support our team. Support our local team, guys. That's because fun. These, these kids, uh, they are they play Paintsville tomorrow night. Paintsville tomorrow night. Let's Home go. game tomorrow night. Play in Paintsville. Uh, get out and support these youngins. Listen, they work hard and they deserve our support. I've been going here lately. I've been going to a bunch of home games and I have absolutely enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. Says it's made from eggs think, and spinach, uh, Tony. Aiden Barnett has the like leading scoring leader now in McGoffin County. I think three thousand. I think that's what it was. Looks it's like a, we got another donation coming dish. through, guys, to give away hometown tax. So we, we, they're going to donate. Uh, donate but, free uh, tax free, preparation. Free tax preparation. That's pretty there cool. Go, yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. It's, it's big time of year, and uh, we we'll love to love to have them. Another sponsor. Is that, is that a sponsor? Yeah, they're wanting to donate yeah. a free for a giveaway. Okay. Free free tax preparation. We'll put that on the list. Hometown tax. Just go ahead and we gotta get our uh, man do, <laughs> do his wicked match. Wizard. You know? yeah. <laughs> the wizard. Thank yeah. you so much, Hometown Tax. Those girls down there at Hometown Tax are phenomenal. They do a great job. They take care of you. Just absolute the best people ever was, I'll tell you. Also, if you have time, visit our middle school games. You will not be disappointed. Yep. We have middle school volleyball. We have middle school basketball. Uh, John they canceled actually, it. Uh, John streams a bunch of the middle school games. They so canceled the game. Like Martin's, Martin County kids all sick or something is what Keesh. I read. Like a breakfast casserole, but in a pie, in a pie crust. There I feel like I've ate that before. Beautiful cousin Angie. I love you, Angie. I feel like I've ate that before. It's a northern dish. It's Scandinavian. Come watch the region, middle school girls play volleyball. I beat some of that stuff up there, and it's a little different. Yeah. I, it, but I love it. I, I want to say that Bruce Allen's wife's mother made me a quiche one time, and I ate it. I want to say it was Bruce's mother-in-law. Angie, what would her name be? Bruce's mother-in-law. It's Carla and, and uh, Janice's mom, I think, made me a quiche one time, and I ate the whole thing myself. But that was years ago, of course, when I could eat. But I could still eat six pickled eggs. There you go. <laughs> you got them down. We, we going to do the light bread challenge? You may have to go to the creek to use the bathroom, well, but you I got them know. down. Well, uh, that it, but I think what happens when you eat a lot of pickle goods, it gets in your bloodstream. He's still radiating. It's, uh, well, it's going radiate. to I'm, see, right He's now, pickled. What I'm trying to explain to you, I'm pickling. I think about I'm one or uh, two in the morning, it's going to be big. Oh, well, you know, I'm pickling. And, and here's the sad part about it. Amanda goes to bed with the chickens, you know. Yeah. And I'll be up about 2 o'clock in the morning dying. Amanda, what? You know, I'm uh, dying. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's going to be. You going to try the light bread, John? I feel like I need to. Well, hang on. Talk to uh, somebody can do a countdown. Uh, 30 seconds. Let's see. You want me to, you want me to count myself down? Yeah, go ahead and put it on. Right, I'm going to go here in five, four, three, two, one. It's a little harder than I thought it was be. Like I say, we're going to have to make it a little shorter for animals. Hey, like John's you. an animal, son. I told you that man's a machine. Watch that man eat may, this may have to go guys. with 15 seconds for listen, you, John. Listen, he's single. Keep him out if of your If you get kitchen. choked, I don't know, young, young. I'll get tickled tonight. if you get choked. I, I, won't I, be any, I won't be any help at all. I ain't going to be able to do it. I promise you I won't. I can't finish this right now. So you what? can't do it. Uh-uh. I'm telling you. Come give here. Give me five dollars and I'll give you a drink of my pot. Come here, Gumby. You said you could eat it, baby. 30 seconds. I'm old. That is that was a bigger piece of bread. Well, that's true. Well, that was a piece of Texas toast. That was Texas toast. Well, it ain't as easy as you thought, right? Oh, wow, that, was, that was definitely harder. Guys, the farmhouse is like Texas. Everything is huh? big here. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely harder to learn. That was not, not test, sir. Yeah. So are you bowing out? Yeah. He had to. He ran out of time. He ran out of time. No, I could eat it. Just couldn't eat it in 30 seconds. <laughs> and I want to say again. I don't know where you could ever go find that much good cornbread at one time. Oh, it's great. <laughs> they wasn't a bad piece I'm of I'm going to take some of that, that home. You know? Don's going to take it home. Yeah, yeah, gonna, Don's going to get instead of a doggy bag, Don's going to get a woofy bag. See, there he's going to take that home. Go take that home and eat it. Mm-hmm. Well, we surely appreciate you guys. Listen, don't forget the farmhouse diner now. I'm telling you. I, I, this is my second home, and, and I eat a lot here, and it you can just get anything you want. I mean, if, Listen, it, we, if we, it ain't on the menu, they'll make it. 
We love it down here, and we love everybody. Our, like I said, the way this has took off has just been an absolute awesome. blessing and phenomenal. We enjoy it. If you if you need anything from us and the community here to shout out anything, you let us know. Yeah. Uh, content, we love to hear your – now, listen, we're not going to get into all this controversial foolishness no. and politics and, and who's no. mad at each other and neighbors are falling out over people that don't care about them. We ain't doing that. <laughs> But anything community related or anything we can do to help anybody, that's what we're here for. Any advice? Yeah. Uh, we're going to have food every week. Like I said, next week we're going to try some kill less and onions. Big John, we'll get, get introduced to that. Uh, onions. Yeah. Oh. Man is a green professional onions, at making them. Green onions, though. I mean, you, green, you, green onions you, probably a little better. It's chopped up green onion. It will be like bacon. chives. You would call oh, it chives. Okay. Yeah, I can so It's going to taste yeah. like So you're going to have the cold oh, okay. lettuce yeah. and, the, and the chives is what they would be called. It'll be good. And okay. they kill it with hot bacon grease. That's what's called killing it. They pour the hot oh. bacon grease over it. And it just kind of... Oh, so yeah, I think you'll it enjoy slimy. it. <laughs> <laughs> but it tastes like bacon, so come and on. And then there's little crumbles. will be little crumbles of the bacon yeah. where it's fried in there, too. It's really good. My dad loved it. Isn't Amy, it? tell Steve to come over tomorrow night bring his guitar. I, oh, another thing I want to shout out while we're doing that. Guys, we have a big crowd down here on Friday nights, and we're thankful so much to have you. Uh, even for you folks that can't be here. Bring live, Maddie. Bring Maddie with uh, you. My bring main man, fiddle. John's going to stream it out for you. Uh, Don pretty much takes care you of the music. You guys are making me so hungry. Uh, you, anybody is welcome. Oh, anybody yeah. Anybody is welcome. And we'll try to cut you up and put you out there, too. Yeah, on, but now on listen. Everything we do. You come drinking, you get a free trip to the jail. You come on a high, you come high, you <laughs> yeah, get a free we, free night in jail. We're family friendly now. You come, uh, yeah, and, you know, and uh, being bad, you get probably whooped. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. It's gonna be. It's gonna be right, and it's gonna be clean fun. Bring, bring your whole family. This is the place, guys. You can bring your children. You can bring your wife. You can bring yourself. And we're not going. We're not going to have anything out of hand down here. Family friendly environment. There you go. Family friendly. Well, well guys, think, uh, that's about wrapped it up. That eh? about does it for the night. Uh, appreciate all you guys. Well, guys, if you want to follow us more, be sure to look up Appalachian Connection on everything. Of course, Friday night we have the Appalachian Connection Banjos and Beyond is what we're going to call it. So that's gonna be, you can look for that if you just want to watch the music and stuff. But we got all, we're trying to cut up the music, put it on YouTube, TikTok, Reels, whatever out there. You guys look for it, www.com appalachiaconnection.com thank you, you all so us. much you don't know Please. how much it means to a bunch of old poor hillbillies that uh, you all tune in with us and the one thing about it down here at the farmhouse we leave the light on the kitchen there you go god bless you everyone <laughs>